Hi there. How you doing? Good. How you doing, Swellen? Did you get my note? Uh, yes, but you didn't send me the edits. No, um, my edits are minor. There is Mount okay. Tom should MT be period. Um, I'm not sure, but we should be consistent and correct. <clears throat> so let me look up. I like your earrings. Thank you. I think no. I think Mount Tom Mass is no t no period. Okay. I don't know if I like that in the report or not. <laughs> oh, here's Kate. Yeah, I'm here. And Jeff's here. So Kate has some questions and only has a half hour. And she's she's offered to to take what we have today and do like a final um, edit on it so that it's all like somebody besides me looking at it. And I'll, 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 edit, I'll edit a copy of it so that you can back out of anything that I do. Okay, but why don't we, cause you have some questions, so why don't we talk about them? Yeah, um, so my first question is in the summary and then somewhere else later, um, we talk about the vision in a couple different ways, and I just was hoping we could clarify and specify. So in the bullet points on the first page with the executive summary, so it's the bottom of page two, develop a vision, capital V, and North Holyoke Master Area Plan. And then in the next, um, the next bullet point, it says implement the vision. So I guess I'm wondering, do, if for clarity's sake, and so people know what we're talking about. Are we talking about a vision plan, a vision statement? I guess I just feel like if we're, we might want to name it more um, coherently and call it by the same thing. What would you suggest? I guess I would say a vision plan but I'm not. Um, well, I think that's exactly what we got from uh, what the our meeting in the mayor's office developed. Yeah. So I think vision plan throughout would be appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just think it'll be clearer if we do that. And if we're going to capitalize it, then capitalize it. Okay. Everywhere. Great. Is that that's okay? Because it yeah. comes up a bunch of times. Um, and um, so, oh, so one other sort of big chunk of things on page seven, um, the, the report back out about the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission review. And I think I had initially written a very long piece about that, which I actually don't think is necessary. I'm not arguing to put it back in. Actually, when I read this, I feel like we might not even need as much as is here. Um, because, so we've got the, so in the middle of the page, we reached out and there's a, what I would actually do here is make it like two bullet points. The first bullet point being clear explanation and the second bullet point being examples of. But then the section after that, three highlights of their review include the following. I'm not actually sure we need that section at all. I think all of those points are made somewhere else. I would agree with you. Yep, agree. And so what I might do is just do like this first paragraph with the two bullet points and then have a, a, a maybe, and maybe you aren't, um, Maybe this isn't how it's working, but I guess I would just end it with another sentence that says, see the attached report. Just as a way to like the appendix, finish up that section. Yeah. yeah. Like the appendix, whatever yeah. the number is. Because then it could just move right into surrounding area considerations. I think that everything that the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission review was helpful to us, but everything that it reports out is is integrated somewhere else in here. Well, you know, further, that... the Pioneer Valley Planning Report, 
essentially said the reservoir area isn't big enough for any of the kinds of activities that were developed at other reservoirs and other communities. Period. The end. Pretty much. Well, I could. Um, we, and we make that point in other places. Would it, would it be better? Like if I'm editing, would you like me to just like keep that the first, the first highlight that we have, we could sort of say that I could say a sentence there and then see the report. I think it's important to be very consistent and I like what you're saying. I also think it's very important to um, make sure that everyone understands that our reservoir area is not as big as these others and therefore can't support those other types of activities, which we were asked to look into for the development right. of fundraising. If you can get that all in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can I think I can do that, but I think just do it very briefly. I don't think we need to do all the highlights there. Um well, you know me, briefer get, is better. Yeah. Um then I have a question. Oh, then my one other I think big picture thing is that. Oh, I see another place where I'm going to change vision. Um, recommendations. I agree with all the recommendations. I'm not arguing any change of what the recommendations are, but I think our arguments for the recommendations, recommendation one about long-term protection of the resource, like as a resource for people. And I think in that case, you know, we're just talking about it as we're separating that issue out separately from water source, right? It's a natural resource. And then recommendation two is protecting it as a water source. But I think that the arguments that we have buttressing those recommendations are essentially so interconnected that it doesn't Lodge, it, it, to me, it doesn't make sense to separate them out. And so I know that this isn't maybe typical of what you, how you write a report, but I would just, I think I would put, you know, recommendation one, the bullet point, recommendation two, the, the bullet point, and then put all the argument together because it's so intertwined I can just, I can see a way where you just integrate what's under recommendation one and two together, and it's much more seamless, much less repetitive, makes more sense to me. Yeah, I, I, so we would agree with what you say, Kate, but you know, we had a, a conversation among our group and that, and that did not carry. Okay. So you know, and, and I also have to say about the, the, you know, so I just joined when you were mentioning about the, the vision and, mm -hmm. the, you know, and <laughs> the friend. vision plan, you know, so it's, it's an area plan that we want, but they need to first state a vision for, you know, what they, you know, for the area. And then that's carried out in, you know, a master area plan. And so I, mm -hmm. I think it's consistent in the way that's stated. And if it's not, but it, but that's different than uh, a vision plan. It's not, you know, a vision, that a vision plan doesn't make sense to me. An area plan, you know, a vision and an area plan. And then there's an area, then there's the management council that would, that would help implement that that's in recommendation five that carries that out so instead of a vision plan Jeff, can you say it again i lost I, you i lost statement. you vision statement a vision statement is fine and that's really that what we are saying like so that's plans? 
Yeah. Right. There's a vision statement and th that, and that's kind of in, you know, the that area plan. plan, right. That's in this master area plan. And maybe you get rid of the word master. I, I don't know. That's, you know, it's a, that's how, that, that's how Mayor Gar Garcia talked about it when, when we talked to him about it. Um, but, you know, I don't know if he's trying to, you know, how, how far he's moving on those things. So, yeah, a vision statement is probably the correct way to state it. But but it that's doesn't. A, go ahead. That's totally fine with me. I just don't think it, when it just says vision, I don't think no. people know what that means. Yes, yeah, so I think a vision statement and. Okay. A vision statement, but right, but right now there is no common understanding of what the city wants to do with right. with North Holyoke, right? And I, I would, I'd like to follow up that point, but then come back to the recommendation one and two, because one of the other things I was going to say, so in recommendation four, which is now develop a vision statement and North Holyoke master area plan. One other big question I had, so the efforts should be led by the mayor and the department of planning and economic development is, was that something that was agreed upon with the mayor? I am not arguing against it, but I'm just wondering, it seems to me like there are other players that should be part of that. Uh, like I was, if it were me, um, I would say by the mayor and, uh, you know, relevant, relevant city departments, including Playoff Waterworks, Department of Planning and Economic Development, Conservation, Parks and Recreation, or was this something specifically already agreed to? Just speaking as a planning board member, I can see where other departments like say, Waterworks, Conservation, Parks and Rec would have as much to say about it as planning and development might. So are, are you speaking of the the planning effort itself or you know so how so we also didn't want to make it you know so complicated right i mean we want you know it sounded like well i mean that's that's an interesting question i i'm not sure how i would i mean i think these efforts have to include everyone and if you're talking about, you know, recommendation five, which is, you know, more related to the kind of area, you know, the council that's going, the management council that's going to work together, um, you know, I wasn't who concerned drafts about. A, I wasn't uh, concerned about five. I was thinking more in four, which is developing the plan. What we said was the effort should be led by the mayor and the Department of uh, Department of Planning and Economic Development. And and that seems it's a it should be a planning effort, Kate. You know, I so it seems like that's who should lead it. Should all the others be engaged? I, you know, surely. But but it seems like it would be. It's what we talked to the mayor about was a planning effort. And okay. so um, well, no, that that you know, was what I was looking for clarification like if that's already been established okay if if i were well okay well, remember fine. so so remember kate this is this recommendation expands things beyond the reservoir right this is this is the look beyond the the reservoir this is the whole north north holyoke area master plan to bring in the conversation all, you know, so this is bigger than us. And so, um, you know, it's an air, it's a master area plan for Northern Holyoke, not just the reservoir. Okay, I, I, I'm not, I, I just wanted to make sure that that was actually something that had been fully thought through and vetted. And if it has, then that's fine. Kate, you have to remember that when these plans are drawn up, 
someone takes a leadership position and then they pull in uh, data, information and advice from other groups as they need it or as they see a need for it. And that's always been the way it's been done. And certainly as a conservation commission member, I remember a couple of times when we were asked to contribute something to a overreaching plan. And I am sure that that would be the same thing if they get so far as to do what we're recommending. So I don't think you have to worry about that. It's just, we're looking at where the leadership should come from. And that was what we determined, particularly after our visit with the mayor and his office. Okay, that's fine. If it's, if it's been, I guess I wanted to clarify that that had been fully thought through and if it has, that's fine. Um, well, I, 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 it's been thought through, whether it's been fully thought through, Kate, you know, like, like at some point we have to finish this thing. And so yep. and we have to turn it over to the next, you know, you know, there's certainly more thought that could go through it. We've never had a conversation with Aaron about this, for instance, you know, we kind of suggest, you know, I suggested to the mayor before we met with him that he may, may ha want to have Aaron there because I knew we were going to discuss this. Um, but that, that didn't, uh, that didn't occur. So, okay. Yeah. And, and the other related piece, um, you know, with the kind of management council, we don't want them to be responsible for implementing all components of this, you know, that it's, but it could eventually become that, but we weren't trying to, to make, you know, we wanted them to implement components of it, but we also didn't want them to be the ones that were writing this plan. We thought that was really, you know, led by the mayor and the planning department, and then, you know, include uh, agencies and the council later in the process. Okay. Is how, that's how I was thinking about it. Um, and I thought that's what we had basic concurrence on um, from, the group, but you know, I, that's so. I agree with you, Jeff. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, and it sounds like you, the, the desire to keep recommendation one and recommendation two separate in their argumentation Sounds like that's pretty strong. So then I guess. Yeah, we tried. We had quite a discussion on that and we actually created wording to bring them together and it was rejected. And so we reseparated them. And this was. And so the recommendations, as they're stated, you know, that went through some process. And you okay. know, that, that, that um, others can add more color to that or, you know, I mean, if, if we want to revisit it. But I put that. That, um, yeah, so we tried, Kate. Okay. And could I ask that uh, the very first word in recommendation one be struck? The word is maybe, and I don't think maybe is appropriate. There's no maybes about it, sure. I'd like the sentence to be much more positive. Okay. Maybe kind of. That weakens it. How about yeah. just Lamp's greatest asset? Right. There you go. It's gone. Thank you. Kate, any more? Um, I think, let's see. I, I think most of the rest of the stuff is just edits and not uh, anything substantive except no, I think it's fine. Okay. The rest of it is just sort of editing stuff that I can um, do and send to Marlene or suggest and send to Marlene. Okay. I'm good. I know you have a meeting. Yeah, I have a few more minutes. Okay. 
Any other I'm thoughts? I'm going to throw a monkey wrench into number three, if nobody minds. Okay. I kind, of, I kind of think we ought to ease up on accessibility to the Whiting Street Reservoir because I'm not quite sure we really want it more accessible as far as a lot more people using it is concerned. And I'm not sure that the water department would like to see a lot more people using it. I do think we should be very heavy on accessibility to the entire Northern region um, of Holyoke. And we haven't really talked about the importance of the other resources there. Uh, there are geologic areas that are extremely interesting. There are rare fauna and flora. Um, the ridge itself is just beautiful for vistas. To look at the rest of uh, Massachusetts. Um, there's something else I thought of. Oh, the uh, Native American heritage that is also a part of Mount Tom. And I think if we wanna talk about accessibility, we should perhaps not stress the reservoir alone, but stress the entire area. Can I make a suggestion back to that? I, I'm not opposed to that idea at all. I think it's a good one. If we do that though, I might, move this recommendation to the end because it already feels like it would make more sense after the area plan stuff and definitely if we're changing the recommendation to talk about the whole area it might make more sense at the end I just thought while we were talking about accessibility, what we've learned from listening to the, the other stakeholders, neighbors, and so forth, that they all have something tremendous to offer up there. And they're all parts of what needs to go into a vision or a master plan or whatever we're going to call it. And this, this hit me as I read through this last night that we just hadn't talked about a reason for a master plan. And all of those things are reasons. Accessibility being a very important component. So I guess I would be okay with moving it to the last recommendation um, Take, taking sue's point i think it can go either place like it could either be a lead into the master plan or it can be something after the master plan i can see an argument either way i think just yeah, you know, I, I decide, can too. Where, we, I, yeah, decide um, where we want it and then change it to reflect talking about the whole area i like your idea of a lead in Because um, then maybe it could um, it could be a place to reiterate its small size and seeing it as part of the region, and then make all the points about accessibility. Mm. In the, the statement the, or the recommendations, you know, allow for passive recreation, and then something with respect to, um, and then as part of the master plan, put together, um, you know, like a, a broader uh, use plan, or I'm not sure the right terminology, but, you know, for the, the whole area, so that it's the, not just. The end of the first paragraph already moves in that direction. So maybe we just add a little bit there. You know, the end of the first paragraph is, while well, Holyoke Waterworks currently does not promote access, given the challenges, particularly if part of 
if part of an area-wide approach as described later in this document. Yeah. So, so you know, there. Yeah. just beef that up a tiny bit and change, change the rest of the section to talk about the area rather than just the reservoir. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We certainly have tried, you know, made try tried to make that point in a number of places that you know you can't um, really significantly increase the recreation if you're only focusing on. You know, we, we can't really take advantage of the area. So I if haven't we're only been focusing. I haven't been there in a couple of like in in a, in a few weeks. Have they done benches there like they did benches at Ashley? So that's a great question. I was there on Sunday. I was there on July 3rd and they had not. Um, but that's, you know, maybe they've done it since. I, you know, so that has anyone else been there since July 3rd? Yeah. So there's six benches at Ashley now. And yeah. That's very cool. I saw, I saw that. that the, yeah. cans and there's some porta potties. Anyway. Hey, so that, so Morley, were you able to add Dave's um, language? I had I had made some adjustments, so I I have his wording in there with with some stuff that I had done. Because again, I was only able to skim. I, I was able only able to skim this. Um, yeah, but I was looking... uh, trying to just make the point for safety and wayfinding as part of the master plan. And I got your, the stuff, the paragraphs that you wrote are in there too. Okay. So, so All right. um, I have to duck out. Just let me know and I'll do, um, Thank you. I'll do okay. whatever edits we've got. Thanks everybody. Thanks for All doing right, that, right. Kate. Hey, Kate, before yep. you leave, are we thinking about yep. putting more photos? Are we going to try to shove a few more photos in here? You know, in, in some... Is that, would it be easy, helpful? Is that something you could do? I mean, I did get the cover one in. Which is cool. If we could, if somebody picks out which pictures and has an idea where to put them. I would put the map in. Um, well, after so, Kate, so Kate has to go. So if we want to discuss that, a little, maybe we could discuss that a little bit here. Yeah, there just, are. and just let and me know. We can, we'll come out of it. Know. Okay. Yeah, that might be useful for and us. I know if yeah. I can figure out how to put a picture and pretty much everybody can figure out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Sorry. Yeah. All right. I well, I was, just, I was just curious whether you guys still thought it was helpful. To yeah, no, it. I think we did. I just... Um, I, I did get the cover in so we can see kind of what it looks like. And A and B, I know that I could, if it's stuff like that, I mean, if, if it's not too complicated, I can, I can stick them in. That was my little Marlene test yesterday to see if I can get a picture in there. Right. Yeah. But sometimes it does mess up your formatting. I mean, it just, you, know, you can do one and it goes fine. Then you get some, another one from another f format and it's like, oh no. <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> but this looks pretty good, Marlene. Thanks for, you know, I, I, I just did not have time to review it all. And did I, I didn't hear the beginning of Kate's comments. Did they, you know, again, I was concerned when she was wanted to change some of the recommendations because, like you guys, you guys know we, you know, we. <laughs> I think it's all right. Yeah, I really I think, think so. it's all right. Um, I'd like to get the map in and I would, that could go in after the um, summary page, or it could go in immediately after the page on which we talk about the size of the reservoir. Right. I, yes, I do think. Let me see. And then I just don't know about pictures because to do them in color is going to be relatively expensive and to do them in black and white i'm not well, so are, sure except are, are we... that i love the picture of the men working in uh 
suit and tie. And yeah, that could I, go in right after history. I mean, I just think that picture is a riot. I agree. I really like that picture. So, um, so where did you want to say? Two, I can try to figure out how to put those two in. So where, so where did you say the map best fit? Just you know, right after the introduction, and then the then the guys in the suit in their with their ties That's at right the end of history, history section. At the end of the history section, and or leading we, into the history section. Either way, and those were my only. Uh, choices. I, I really wasn't so sure about the the beautiful scenic photographs. Yeah, I don't think that's as necessary, but um, but one would probably be wise. Maybe right at the beginning, right just before study and process, maybe you know, the study process have, mm -hmm. you know, one of the very scenic ones, just so we know what we're talking about. All right, let me, let's see. So map, after the summary, working men, after history. Right now. And then a scenic one before study process. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to get some rain? Um, <laughs> my, my, We're going to get. Path. My app says we're gonna get uh, rain. I'm gonna get rain here in two minutes. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll be first because it's coming right up here. I think it isn't gonna be much though. It might be fast. It's gonna be fast and furious. I think. I'm and hoping furious. for at least two inches. Yeah, you're, you're gonna be lucky if we get a, a tenth. Well, you know what? I know, but I one hopes. My my dark sky just went from a tenth of an inch to 0.8. So 0.8 of an inch, so who knows? What point, I'll take that, but I don't think that. that's- I'm so dry I'm here. Gonna, oh, it's br brutal, it's, br it's brutal. Um, I'm just looking at some of these photos. So it looks like you, get, you guys, it looks like you've done a really nice job. So I'll try to get those in. Um, Sue Ellen? You're thinking about, um, you know, some of the Native American stuff. How do you want to do that? How do we want to reword some of that in this? I don't know. I don't know. Person who would be most helpful for that would be Jeff Anderson Burgos, who, because of his work with Council for Human Understanding, is becoming a little bit of an expert. Okay. So he oh. might be able to give us okay. some good, Excuse me. simple, basic information. I know I heard some during all the discussions, but I, I honestly don't remember where or when, and I can't find it in my notes. So how do we how do we want to get some of that? So do we want to set up a call with him, Swellen, or do you want to talk to him, or how you want to do that? I don't know. Somebody tell me what to do, and I'll do it. <laughs> so what was the question again? I'm I'm looking at Dave's photos. I can't help myself. That's okay. Um. Um, the in for some of the 
natural, you know, the natural um, Native American and other natural geological formations, all that stuff, how do we want to add or approach thinking about them in this? Oh, I don't even know how to, I don't feel like I have the brain bandwidth right now to even think about that. Yeah. So, uh, so what do we mean? Did we decide that we needed to talk about geology a little more? Is that? I think that's what Sue Ellen was thinking. I don't think we need to talk about it. I just think we need to put it in there. The Native American um, history, we haven't really talked about. And I can't find anything in my notes, but certainly there is uh, a Native American heritage to the mountain. And I don't remember where I got the information. And then my question is, does that belong in history or does that belong in discussion, the recommendation three of, you know, like developing education materials to communicate some of the more specific history of the area. That's a good spot. And, and I guess maybe the thought is, you know, so maybe we, maybe there may be a way to do this would be in the history section to indicate that, you know, I mean, we talk about the actual reservoir history, but then we can also put in a section that it, Whoa. you know, form. Whoa. <laughs> not a section. I mean, like a couple of sentences that are like, you know, there's also this, uh, you know, Native American history and all these geological formations and just reference it in the history section, just that it exists. Well, I know, I just, I, it, it doesn't really have anything to do with the reservoir itself. No. It has to do with, um, the quarry area, the ski area, the uh, beautiful ridge that National Fish and Wildlife have control over. Um, there's a lovely uh, waterfall up there, little one on the mountain. It's above the quarry area. All of those things are part and parcel of the entire area but not necessarily the reservoir. And what I was talking about was our recommendation for the wider planning, study and planning effort to go into the whole Northern Holyoke um, question or vision plan or whatever we're calling it now. I'm yeah, no, no, no. None somewhat of confused. <laughs> None of it's that's an area, true. it's an area plan. David, it's an area plan. In yeah, that, area. but in that, so so rather than talk about it anywhere else, in the area plan, um, uh, da, 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 da. well, I mean, we talk about doing educational services, but again, not at the, those aren't at the reservoir specifically, that's more in the broader area. If, I don't know. Which map were you thinking about? The very first one that um, Harry sent us. It's getting dark. Getting oh, dark. It's very dark so, here. I don't think it's so, raining. So there is a pretty cool picture. Uh, the one that's called Whiting Street Storage Reservoir, built 1889 and 1890. And it gives 
The length, 1773 feet. The drainage area, the, you know, it's and it's the one that has all the trees that have been cut down in the foreground. Do you guys remember the one? It's it seems like that one would be helpful. You know, when we talk about the, um, so it's one that Harry sent on June 26th. I'll go with your recommendation. But it seems like it's a pretty cool, it, it shows the gatehouse, it shows the, um, the dam as being at that time, it's a, you know, you can see it's all stone. It's not, doesn't appear to be earthen there, you know, but so that was a, you know, it just, it, it looks kind of cool. It's a, it's a kind of sepia colored. So I was curious if you guys, you know, so I'm looking at that group of photos and there's some cool ones in there. And then there's a picture of the little intake reservoir that was the first one. We can't do everything, right? It's just those, you know. It's raining here. There's it it? lightning here. Yep. Let me see what my. Um, could you do me a favor and resend me that that file from from Harry? The one that I was just talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I can send that. I'll send you this one. It's pouring. Let it come. I hope it, again, like Simone says, give us two inches. We are really dry. Well, of course, if you were a Navajo, you would call this a male rain. OK. So I just sent After you to. Okay. That's <laughs> pretty good. So I just sent you to the. The, that, that one group of photos. Okay. And so you might, there's some, there, you know, they're historic ones. And there's one aerial in there that I don't, I don't understand where it's taken from, honestly. It's pouring rain right here. Good. Are we okay? Are we okay to stay on or are you guys? Oh yeah, doing? I'm okay. I mean, if the lightning gets hot and heavy, Thunder's rolling. Yeah, Rip Van really Winkle see. is playing 10 pins. It is very dark, you know, but I don't see. Oh, I'm sure there's rain in that, but uh, wow, the wind is. Whoa, that's a little funky. Well, I hope our car's put away and not still out front. We well, got a tree with a branch that's going to come down. Don't even say that a lot around here. I can't tell you how many trees I keep losing. <laughs> yeah, you were saying that you really lost a lot. Wow, that that is some significant south wind. We don't normally get that much south wind. Yeah. That's oh wow. I mean, something that was. I mean, it almost even. I mean, it was blowing stuff sideways. Yeah. Well, my little thing now says we're going to get 0. 0.77 of an inch more than we've already gotten. They're really saying we're going to get grateful for every yeah. single drop of it. Yep. Wow, you're right. It has gone up. I mean, it said like a tenth of an inch. Now it says, you're right, the 0. 0.77 we're supposed to get. That's awesome. I hope it comes. Bring yeah, it on. Sure. Yeah. I didn't want it in five minutes, but okay. No, and it really does look like it's going to come in a period of what's it say? It says. It says for an hour. It says we got an yeah. hour of it. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. 
see if my weather station is picked. My weather station still hasn't really picked up any. Let me see. Not yet, anyway. All right, back to work. Here we go. Back to work. Okay, so add pictures. So I'm going to share. I'm going to share my screen for a second just to look at some of these pictures. See, okay. you guys, see what you think. Where is the map I was talking about? Was kind of a. It's a very flat line drawing. So here's. This is not the one I was talking about. This is a small dam. Can you guys see this at all? Yeah, Probably that's terrific. Small. Yeah. But that's the small dam. But the one. So where is it? Here it is. So this one is the one that has. It's not as pretty as that other one. But this is the whole dam, and it says Wedding Street Storage Reservoir built in 1889, and it talks about. And that's the gatehouse, of course. And you see, it's a stone, and it talks about the length of the dam it talks about the drainage area and and um the reservoir actual you know footprint of the reservoir and the capacity well now there is some thunder i i, I kind of heard it not and it, it is coming down in sheets now i will give you that it's coming so if anybody gets electrocuted, we should stop. So. Yep, I agree. Are you seeing the? So wait a second. So yeah. so this one, so that that one I think is the best. I don't think we need this view of Holyoke from Mount Tom, although it's quite cool. No. I really, I I'm not sure that's. I guess it is Holyoke. Some of these I question, honestly. The next um, one. You like that that one? No, the one after that. This one. I can't. That one is very cool, but it's you know it's not as you know that little reservoir. It's not doesn't as, even, as dramatic. And it doesn't, and that reservoir doesn't exist anymore, right? That's the one that's that's by the um, the pump station. You know, where it, right where if you come in from Route Five and you. And you, that's right where the road does a 90 degree bend. That's where that pumping station yeah. is. And they have, you know, so that doesn't exist anymore. That was the first dam that was built and it no longer exists. But it was the first one. This one, I have no idea where that was taken. I, I, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know what that is. No, because I don't exactly know what that green line is either. I have no idea what that is, and there's not a so there's not a sub, you know. I, I don't you know, know what that is. I I think that's a layout of Mountain Park when it was an amusement park. I could be dead wrong, but I sort of have that feeling. Right. Well, it certainly looks. So you think that's up above? That's where Mountain Park, you know, and this is. And then the reservoir below, was that the alignment? Wow. I think Maybe. so, but I. Right, because that side of the, wow, I suspect you're right. That's crazy. But it's was not there... the best picture to put into the, no, <sighs> into okay. the folder. Yeah. No, none of those are good. I'm just playing around for a second. And see. For some reason, I'm not finding the pictures I know he sent. So. so he sent most of them on June 26th. So if you search for, you know, Harry. Yep, that's what I'll do. And, and they, he sent them all at, at once. Um, had a whole... I was trying to find the map though. Like here's one map. Here it is. It's not the I don't think that's the one we No, want. that's not the one. There's cool ones. Let me let me see. Hang, hang on. I'm sorry. It's gonna oh, take no, a I get the guys. rain. It'll take me a second to find out which ones are right here. 
He sent a lot of emails. This one has all the current shots. It's for, for this one. So there's a decent. There map. you was go. Was that the no. one? But was that one the? That's that the one, one the I was thinking vintage? of. Vintage. All right. So. Again, that one was sent at see if I can move this, 11.28 on June 26th, Sunday, June 26th. And, it, and right. there's a number of them here. Uh, these aren't any good, but that, but, that, but that map, there is another map too. Let me keep, let me see. That was number five, I think. And then this, this one that I sent you, that was my response. These are the ones we just looked at, but I think we picked the right ones from there. There's a spillway. I don't think that's helpful. I don't think that's helpful. I don't think that map is helpful. No. None of that's helpful. Oh, hey, stop that. Lost, losing control here. That one you already got, which is great. I think that was a perfect choice for the cover. These were, some, that was one of the old postcard pictures looking yeah. toward Holyoke early on. I don't think that's relevant enough. It's very cool, but it's not. It doesn't relate directly. I'm just trying to look for ones that might. That, that's kind of. That's it. I thought there was another map someplace, but at any rate, I think there was. But you found the right one. Oh, which okay. which map? It which uh, the one that. Do you want me to send you that? Do you do you want me to send you that? No, I can. Again? If if it's that one on June 28th, I've, I'll. Uh, I. And should be able to find it now. So tw I think it's the 26th. Not yep, the June 26th. Yep. 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 And he sent a, a yeah. So that's, yep. And then, you know, it might be worth having one photo of its beauty now that captures most of the expanse of the reservoir. But that that's optional, I think. But might be nice. Especially where you talk about recreation and all, you know, the uses. Well, just to think about. the map, the, the first map that's on the page, um, the, the top on 1128. Uh, 1128 or 26? I mean, 1126. I keep saying that. 1126. And 1128. You're, you're, you're allowed to say that. All right. I'm forgetting here. where I saw it. Are you going to share thought. it? Are you going to share your screen? Well, I'm going to see if I can just dump it in here. Bet you can, because you're pretty slick <laughs> these days. Oh, I forget where it was. I got it in. There cool. It is. Cool. All right. Apps in. Are you sure you want to share your screen? Yep. Hold on. Let me save I'll it. Stop. I'll stop sharing mine. Let me save it so I don't mess it up. Okay. And I'm sorry, sorry to get, get here late. These days I have to go in the office, so I can't, you know, I almost always have meetings gotcha, right no worries. Um So Ellen, how are you doing? I'm having a wonderful time watching what you're doing. Okay. So cover, summary, vision statement, cool. right map. Right map. 
Okay. Nice work. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna look for... Do you all remember typing term papers and weekly papers and so forth in high school and college that we had to type over and over and over again? Uh, of course. Oh yeah, of course. And I look at what, what you're doing now with this and it's just... Magical. It's really magic. <laughs> It is. It's magical. It is. All right. You can just, yeah. Look at that. I got, I am so proud of myself getting pictures in here. You guys have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you're good, girl. You're going to be a, reg, a regular, you know, publisher. You're going to start publishing your own materials. Uh -huh. There are so many tools now to do this so well, but it does take a lot. <laughs> it, it, requires more patience than I have. So um, what's next, you guys? Well, how can, we ha how can we help you, I guess? That's well, so I put together, know. the other thing I sent you guys was that I tried to do a little list of the- Appendices, yeah. Appendices yeah. and what I have and whether it's hard copy or electronic. I figured we should decide if those are the things we want, if that's the list. And then we should decide, oh, Sue Ellen, you were going to, so Scott told us how to reference people to find the minutes to the calls. So we got that. You were gonna talk to Jeffrey Anderson Burgos, Sue Ellen, to see if we could, um, if there's like uh, on this city website, we can put in, if, there, if that was a place for some of the appendices. Remember we talked about that? So we would want to put a you link. You did and I didn't, I blew it. A link to some appendices. I think it's um, more appropriate to say you haven't done it yet. It's mostly stopped raining. It's, it's coming down steady here, but the sky is not the dark. The yeah, dark the dark is gone. And the sideways. Yeah. The yeah, sideways that's not regular wind rain. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. I will try to remember to do that in the morning. Okay. <laughs> so when no, what it, do we it'll want be to be in the afternoon? Because he doesn't so, come into work until noon. Okay. He works noon to eight. So once we get a list of the appendices done. And we've done editing. What do we want to do? Type it up and turn it in. Wrong. Yeah, so, Press so the right. print button and turn it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I do think we want to, yeah, try to. So that means, so Sue Allen, you're also going to write a transmittal letter. I'm sorry, I had to write a letter to cover this that would go to the mayor and the city council. Right, yeah. a transmittal, you're like a transmittal letter. You yeah, know, but I say. didn't see any point in writing it until we were completely done. Oh, yeah. that's fine. Okay, and I'm going to ask Peter if he's going to figure out the deed stuff, and if not, we should put a statement in there about the deed need, needing to be gotten. Right, okay, so, yep. Right, so you're looking at the list of. Things. I look at the deed. Um, I can do up a one page list of, of everybody that's been participating, you know, like if we want to do that. Is it just our names or is that our names and our affiliations? I think, it, I think it's our names and affiliations, you know, as indicated in, the, in our um, charge you know there was supposed to be a person from planning there was supposed to be a person from well i think i think that's right but more important i think that's a little background material from each person just so that they get a feeling that this was not done by a bunch of 
untrained people who didn't know anything about water related issues. And, you know, we've all got important background to bring to this. And I think that belongs in there. You know, not in a lengthy discussion, but for instance, I would be 